NFL Game Night, the first and only digital game show where fans and players can play together but still separate. I'm your host, Kelsey Seal. Welcome to episode three. Every week, I'm going to have two clubs featuring a fan and a player join me for the ultimate game night competition. Each team will play three games total, and the team to earn the most points by the conclusion of the final round is our weekly champion. So this week, it's a battle between League One and the championship. Let's introduce you to our teams today. Representing Team Forward Madison, we've got midfielder Louis Bennett and OG fan Tenley. Guys, welcome to the show. What's up? How's it going? Thanks for having me. Going well. Uh, Louis, how do you think you're going to gel with uh, your, your teammate over here today? Uh, I think we'll gel really well. You know, we have a little Midwest connection going on, even closer to Madison. So I think we'll do pretty well. I love it. Well, on the opposing side today, it's team RGV FC, midfield, excuse me, midfielder Timo and Fan Z are teaming up for the Toros today. Timo, where do you rank your game show level experience here? What can the fans expect today? Um, I would say I'm more of a rookie. But, you know, I'm always up for a challenge, so uh, I think it'll be exciting. I love it. Well, let's have some fun today, guys. Why don't we just get into the show? You ready to do this? Yeah, let's go. All right, guys. The first game you're playing tonight is called Time to Mime. I'm going to send the USL players on each team a word, and when their teammate guesses that word correctly, they get a point. You've got to act out the word with your hands just like a mime. So we'll have 60 seconds total with each correct guess worth one point. Let's get to it. You guys are going to have 60 seconds on the clock. You guys ready to do this? Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. You're live. Firework. Yeah. Fish. Next one. <laughs> Flirt. Fish. Flex. <laughs> Football. Louis killing it. Uh, flag. Can we go next or no? Yeah, go next. Okay. Um, fire. Ball. Uh, fight. Time. <laughs> that harder than you expected, Timo? I mean, the, the first two were, were really quick, so I was happy about that for sure, but I, I thought they were super hard. Um, but obviously, I, I feel like it would have gotten easier at the end for me. Yeah. Yeah, that's what's harder because you just don't – you, like, can't go until you're through the list. All right, five to two heading into our second game. All right, in this next game, we're going to test just how well you know society's most popular mascots. I'm going to show you close-up pictures of famous mascots of popular brands or companies and the first player to say their name and then identify the character or the company scores a point for their team. Now, if you get both the character and a company correct, you get two points. And to make it a little bit more fun here, if a team guesses and is incorrect, the other team can steal. You feeling kind of confident about this one, Timo? A little bit better going into this one? I mean, I'm not from here, so uh, I'm just hoping I've, I've seen some of this stuff. So uh, we'll see, I guess. <laughs> I love it. All right, well, let's get to it. The first character here. Louie, I can see it turning. <laughs> I, uh, I know exactly what this is, but I don't know the name of it. Oh, uh, Louie. Yeah, Louie, yes. Uh, the company is Baby Bell Cheese. Is that it? Um, or... you're, you're close. I'm pretty sure that's what I call it when I eat it. <laughs> it's called Laughing Cow. Oh, and they make Baby Bell. And they make Baby Bell. Yeah, you were so close. I almost want to give you like a half point. Is that a thing? Can we Does do that? Does the cow have a name? Does the cow have a name? The cow? It's just laughing. It's Laughing Cow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me get this on here. 
<laughs> the laughing cow and laughing cow. So that could have been an easy double pointer. Uh, sorry, Tinley. Oh, you're good. <laughs> good guess. All right, going into our next one. If nobody gets this one, I'm going, it's, it's, this is not going to end well. All right, here we go. Louis. <laughs> All right, Louis. Frosted Flakes. His name's Tony. I'll give it. Yeah, Tony the Tiger. Two <laughs> points there. Love that. Team I'm Madison. The, uh, the game show network's really, uh, really been inspiring me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, love it. We've got a few more here. Our next one. Timo? Yeah, Timo? I think it's Nesquik. Well the done. Name, the name, though, I have no idea. That's cool. You got, got you a point. I know. I feel like for this one, I don't know if anybody's ever actually said his name out loud. Um, but Nesquik is the, is the correct answer. His name is Quickie. Oh, I think I've heard that before. Have you heard that? Okay, I was like, I saw that, and I was like, I've never heard of that before. Be so impressed if anybody else had. Quick either at it. All right, next one. Louis. Louis. Uh, Wells Fargo. Nope. Oh no! Oh no! I know what it is. Oh. I know what it is now. Can I change my answer? Tenley. <laughs> You know yep. the Budweiser? Yes. It is Budweiser. Yep. Do you know what the mascot name is? I just know him as the Clydesdales. Yep. I don't know if that's the name. Okay, that kind of looks like Wells Fargo, though. <laughs> <laughs> Your partner <laughs> saved you. Big time here. That's what we do in Madison. <laughs> All right, we got three more here, you guys. I mean, they could use the same horses for both. That's, you know what? I'm not going to argue with you on that one. Good job, Tenley. Z? Yeah, Z? Is that AOL? It is AOL, yep. Do you know the name of the little icon? What um, is the name? It, Running Man. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right, two more. Z? Z? Is that Mucinex? It is. I don't know the name. Mr. Mucus. <laughs> Apparently, um, he, they had a lot of backlash for from him because he was so ugly that <laughs> <laughs> they didn't like they wanted to look at the character. <laughs> All right, we've got our final one here, guys. Oh... Z? Z? Is that Dole? Oh. It's close. Yeah, you're so, you're so <laughs> close. I almost want to give it to you. Hold. Oh, I got no idea. I'll, I'll hum the tune. Keep going. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I know. It's just that part. <laughs> nope, Chiquita. So you were, yeah, you were so close. See, I wanted to give that one to you so bad. The next game could really be, be anybody's. It's funny when you're creating these lists because all of these, I'm like, oh, this could be like super. This should be super easy for everyone. But even like Frosted the Flakes, like Tony Tiger, wasn't that. Um, I thought you all would have pounded on that one at the same time. Not a big cereal guy, Timo? I, I feel like I don't really go into the names of the, I mean, I knew it was like some kind of cereal, but I had no idea his name was Tony. Like, I don't know when, I don't know. Maybe I missed those commercials or something. I don't have no idea. I love that. All right, well, heading into our final game of the night, it's uh, 10 to five for Madison right now. In the final game of the night, you're teaming up with your partner once again. This game is called All the Things. One partner will serve as the guesser, while the other gives the clues. 
here's the kicker, because I know some of you just can't help yourself. The partner that is giving the clues must sit on their hands. You must rely on the clues and solely the clues here. No acting and all that jazz. Your team will have 60 seconds on the clock to get as many of these items correct as possible. Each correct answer is worth a point. Madison has a 10 to 5 lead over RGV right now. So for Madison, you're going to take this one first. You guys ready to go? Yeah. All right, you're on the clock. Barrel, dice, bowling ball. Uh, thing to find in a casino. <laughs> yeah, next. Uh, waitress, menu, food. Things you find in a restaurant. Yep. Um, trampoline, uh, bed. Um, Things you find in a gym. Uh... Yeah, it's more like an activity. Can I, am I allowed to say that? Yeah, I would skip though. Oh, okay. gymnastics. <laughs> skip. Uh, oh, um, my hamstrings, <laughs> a stick, uh, um, an old mattress. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm. That was hard. Harder than you expected? Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, it was much harder. That first one, Tinley, was things that roll. Okay, got it. Yeah, then it was things that are in a restaurant, things that you bounce on. Okay. Uh, things okay. that I And things we didn't get to the porch or anything that you hoard. <laughs> that was tough. That was tough. All right, RGB, you, you've got a little bit of a window here, guys. Madison is 11 to 5 lead, so you could possibly get this if you get them all in 60 seconds. Sure. You ready for this, Timo? <laughs> Good luck. Yeah, send them over. All right. Is All right, you're on the clock. Oh, I'm on the clock. Um, keys, wallet. Um, Things you find in your pocket. Games. Um, not next, probably. <laughs> um, money, um, ATM. Um, mm -hmm. I think you said it, Z. Say it again. You find in a bank. Yep. Um, steering wheel. Um, gas, brake. Did you find it in a car? Yes. Um, backpack. Uh, uh, next, actually next. Um, jalapenos. Um, salsa. Did you uh, find it in RGB? Did you find it in a Mexican restaurant? Um, hot Cheetos. Did you find? Uh, uh, what else? Did you find it a concession stand? Hot wings, hot wings. Time. You are on the right track, though. Those are good clues, Timo. <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> I it's it, like when you're on the spot like that, it's, it's hard it's to say. Hard. Yeah, like that word, like, right? Yeah, I feel like the the clue about this is just skip the ones where you like you're not gonna find anything. Like I feel like I should have skipped the first one right away. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because it's hard to get that without describing it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the first one was things you lose. So then I started with like he and what and stuff, and I was like, okay, this is going to go somewhere else. So I don't know. Games you lose too, I guess. I love it. Well, guys, that was all good fun. That's going to do it for, for episode three. Madison takes the win here, 11 to 7. Heck of a game, guys. Very well played. Give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you so much for coming on to the show and fans for tuning in today. I hope you guys had a good time. Thanks, Kelsey. And that'll do it for our third edition of USL Game Night. We'll see you guys next week.